and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan, your hostess, and today we are doing a back of label recipes. This is hashtag back of label recipes hosted by Luann's Kitchen. And I want to thank Miss Luann for creating this wonderful open collaboration that anybody can jump in on. It will end on December the 31st, 2024. So y'all get on board and find those recipes and participate. We recently purchased a bean that we have never heard of before, and we got it at a discount grocery store. It is canary beans. And on the back of this label is a recipe for Peruvian stew. So that's what we're going to be making today, but we're going to change up some of the ingredients. Um, you can use um, a half pound of beef, chicken or pork cubed. Well, I don't have any of those, but I do have some ugly chicken that I can myself, so we're going to use that. Uh, I don't have a fresh tomato, but I do have canned tomatoes. I don't have fresh minced garlic, but I have store-bought minced garlic. I don't have any bacon strips cooked up but I've got bacon bits, real bacon bits. So this recipe calls for one half pound of Goya dry canary beans. We're gonna get those rinsed and into our crock pot. This is what they look like. And um, we're gonna get those cooking and then we're gonna put our other ingredients into a stock pot and get them cooking as well. Once the beans are done, we're going to transfer them over into the other pot. I am using my Instapot because I'm rushed for time. Um, Instapot, when you cook beans, it is, let me look, 20 to 25 minutes. So you're saving a lot of time when you use your Instapot. It calls for one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one half pound of beef, chicken, or pork cubed, one small onion chopped, one small tomato diced, one teaspoon go uh, of minced garlic, one packet of sasson with culantro and anetto. Well, I don't have the anetto, but I do have it with conato, conatro. And this has got the achote in it, so it's close enough. And salt and pepper. So let's get cooking. I'm going to measure out a half a pound of beans. is probably about a cup or a cup and a half of beans right there. So that's a half cup, uh, half a pound. Let me get a measuring cup. So far I've gotten one cup of beans out of this. Um, and I have not found a bad bean in here. But you always check your dry beans for bad beans. And you just sort through them with your hands, watching as you're sorting, and you can find the bad beans. Got one bad one. It's got a little worm hole in it. So it's about one and a half cups of of the dry beans. Just rinse those off. And into our Instant Pot. I'm going to get rid of this. Pull this forward because I've got to get my water in there. I'm going to add in my four cups of water. And 
and four. Won't need that again, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lid and make sure that I have my uh, vent turned where it's supposed to be. Turn my unit on, get it on pressure for 30 minutes. So I'm going to bring my pressure up to 30 minutes. And we're going to allow those beans to start cooking. Okay, we're going to make this our own. I've got my uh, ugly chicken deboned and got the fat off of it, the skin fat. And I've got it in my pot. I'm going to go ahead and add in. It calls for one tablespoon of olive oil. So we're going to go ahead and get this olive oil in there. Now it's already got fat in it so it really didn't need the olive oil but the recipe calls for it so we're going to put it in. And it calls for two slices of bacon. I'm just going to guesstimate this. This is real bacon bits. So we're going to just go ahead and put in maybe two tablespoons or three. And that's going back into my refrigerator. It calls for one half pound of beef, chicken, or pork cubes, which is already done. One small chopped onion. We're going to go ahead and get that in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this burner on and get that started. And it's kind of loud because I've got my Instapot going over here. So we're going to get this going and it calls for one small tomato dice. Well, I don't have a small diced tomato. I have canned tomatoes and I have them in quarts. So I'm going to just dip some of these out and put them in there. And I'm going to say that's about a cup of tomatoes there. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. We're not going to let them go to waste. Uh, one teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay, I will be adding in one teaspoon of minced garlic. I want to get this onion a little bit translucent before I put that in there. Nice clean ingredients. And my Instapot's giving me issues today. Wouldn't you know? So we're going to try it again with the Instapot so it, it may start spreading some uh, steam here in a moment. Hopefully it will go on and do what it's supposed to do. And it did. Hallelujah. So I fixed the problem. Okay, so my onions are getting a little bit translucent. And we're going to let that go for just a couple of minutes. And then we're going to add in our minced garlic. I don't know about y'all, but I'm enjoying being able to do these overhead shots. It makes such a big difference in the quality of the video content, I believe. Okay, they're translucent, or just about there. I'm going to go ahead and add in that teaspoon of garlic. Get that mixed in here. 
It calls for salt and pepper. I'm not going to put any salt in there right now because the tomatoes have salt and I don't want to put too much salt. Plus the Goya is salty as well, the Sasson. So I really don't want to add any salt. So this adds color. I am going to add in some black pepper. I'm being lazy today, y'all. I'm not pulling out measuring spoons and everything. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And if it gets too salty, you can always add a potato to it. Um, that will absorb some of the salt. So this is the base of the Peruvian stew and when the beans are done we're going to get the beans incorporated in here allow them to meld together for a little bit and then we're going to serve this up but it smells delicious already all right my beans are cooked this has been simmering I've had it on low I've got a pot of wild rice here because you're supposed to serve it over rice we're going to get that out of that pot and into this mixture. Hot, hot, hot. All right, those are the Peruvian canary beans. And we're just going to allow this to kind of cook together. It smells delicious, y'all. My husband will probably want to put some hot sauce on that. So I'm turning my burner up. I'm going to allow that to cook for just a few more minutes. And I'm going to cover it back up. Okay, I'm going to just give this a little taste. I don't think it needs any salt and the flavors are starting to meld with the beans so that's a good thing so we're going to let that continue to simmer for a few more minutes while we're waiting on the rice to get done time to plate this up so there's the rice get my bowl over here And there is the Peruvian stew. I'm going to grab me another spoon and get some of that good liquid off the bottom. Make a mess on my stove. And the recipe says to top it with a little bit of oregano. I don't have any fresh oregano, but I do have some dried oregano. So we're going to do a little bit of dried oregano over the top. Just a little sprinkle there. Oh, it smells good, folks. That's what's for supper. Doesn't that look yummy, y'all? It smells good.
I couldn't decide if I need a spoon or a fork. And I've got the, the rice at the bottom. So... Mmm. Very tasty. I think I could have added the rest of the tomatoes to this. No problem. So I may do that with the rest of this. And um, this is going to be our supper tonight. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. This recipe is on the back of Goya Canary Beans. Maybe you can see all the directions there. Um, I would add more tomatoes to it. Maybe go up a little bit on the garlic. Everything else is fine though. It's delicious. And it feeds four, so you've got enough here for four people. So that it would be a great addition to your menus. Something different. It's Peruvian stew, y'all. Y'all go by and say hi to Luann's Kitchen. That's Miss Luann from Blackberry Rock Homestead also. Uh, Lou Ann is a great cook. You'll see a lot of recipes on her channel. This is hashtag backup label recipes. We found ours on a Goya bag. Friends, thank you so much for your time, for your consideration, and for you watching this channel. It just means the world to me. We are growing, and it, it really does help when you watch and you comment and you share out. Also hit those thumbs up. If you haven't already, friend our channel. We have lots of great content waiting for you. Thank you and may you be